Private schools are to be allowed to host examinations for students studying under foreign curriculums, such as the UK's A-level system. Concern was allayed this week as the government offered support for those students who rely on grading and exams in order to enter universities globally. The More Prom online registration application for vaccines in Thailand has been suspended to prevent what's been called a bottleneck in bookings. Those already registered are unaffected, which means anyone having had their first shot will get their reminders for the second. However, for those not registered on the app, they'll need to register via provincial registration systems, local hospitals or local health volunteers. To date, some 3,150,000 people have had at least one vaccine shot. With the reminder that figures issued will refer to testing done some 48 hours prior, we go to the abridged version of the CCSA media presentation. So Wednesday, the 26th of May, new confirmed case. We have a slightly lower number of additional cases, which is 2,455. Out of this number, 2,455, we have... 1,960 cases that are from local transmission, 16 from overseas infection, and 479 from within the penitentiaries. We have 2,571 persons who have recovered from COVID recorded for today. Active cases currently being treated is 45,256. Unfortunately, we have recorded 41 new fatalities, making the cumulative 873 so far. Now, the overall situation uh, nationally continues to see an upward uh, trend uh, that ha has been the case for the past week. The active clusters in Bangkok, in particular, are still mostly concentrated in construction workers' campsites, all of which now have been put in the bubble and seal uh, these missions, active case finding missions being conducted. The COVID variant of concern first detected in South Africa remains concentrated uh, in Takbai district in Naratiwad, as you may have heard on the news, and it has not been detected elsewhere in Thailand. The count of known infections of the Indian variant of COVID have risen to 62, all within the Bangkok area, but now not exclusively within construction camps. 36 were spotted in a Laksi camp at the past week. However, testing around the capital has revealed more. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, City Hall and TAT are working on plans to welcome tourism in the last three months of this year. With the provision that most here do get vaccinated, the Pattaya Move On programme is still in the planning stages, but is expected to welcome tourists who can prove that they've had vaccinations in their home country. No word on any plans for quarantine, but it must be noted that to make such tourism worthwhile, businesses will have to be, by then, able to return to normal, including pubs and clubs. Figures for the province yesterday reported just 40 new cases of COVID, only three in our own area of Bang Lamung. And it's been noted that without any attraction currently for Bangkokians to come here, the numbers have lessened almost daily. With the reminder mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing, and the Met Office promising highs today of 31 degrees, dropping down to 26, with the promise of odd storms at any time. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin, or program. Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.